Hello everyone and welcome back to a new reading session. Today we are going to read Osborne Lights and Sounds Christmas by Sam Taplin and illustrated by Jordan Ray. Now this book is very special because it has a heartwarming story, it has lights and it also has some music. Let's begin, shall we? It's Christmas Eve in Little Chestnut Wood and everyone is excited. Everyone except Freya Fox. It's very dark tonight and very quiet, she says. What if Santa misses our village? He won't know where to come. Oh my goodness, says Florence Fox. You're right. I'll hang a lantern on the tree. And you could play your violin? Then he might hear it when he flies past. The foxes go to see their friends, the badgers. We're worried it's too dark, they explain, and Santa won't see us. Oh no, says Grandma Badger, and she rushes off to get some candles. We're playing music too, says Freya Fox, so he can hear. Good idea, says Grandpa Badger. I'll play my trumpet as loud as I can. The foxes go and tell the squirrel family. Don't worry, says Mr. Squirrel. We'll turn our Christmas lights on right now. And our little squirrels can play their recorders, says Mrs. Squirrel. Thank you, say the foxes, and they hurry off. It's nearly bedtime. The foxes just have time to visit the mouse family by the river. Oh, we have lots of lanterns, says Auntie Mouse. We'll hang them on the bridge for Santa to see. And all the little mice will play music, says Uncle Mouse. As the foxes stroll home, the village is full of twinkly lights and Christmas tunes. I hope it's enough, says Florence Fox. I hope he comes. It's Christmas morning in Little Chestnut Wood. And who do you think has visited? We did it, says Freya. He found us. Look at all our beautiful presents. Hooray, says Florence. Merry Christmas, everyone. Did you like the story? I hope you did because I sure enjoy it when I read it every single time. Have wonderful holidays and a merry, merry Christmas.